Hey you guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to get your hair silky straight. 613 here, by the way. Your hair probably looks something like this if it hasn't been done in a few days, you know. It's been raining in New York like crazy. I don't know what's going on, but you just wanna brush your hair. And after this step, some people will usually just start for ironing their hair. But no, I'm gonna tell you what to do in order to get your hair straight. And you're gonna need a blow dryer. So this blow dryer is by Andis. And you can get this at your, um, you know, beauty supply store. But anyway, you're gonna get your blow dryer and you're gonna blow dry your hair. You're not just gonna blow dry like that. You're gonna blow dry it in sections. If my meat mills are showing, remember, don't come for me. When blow drying my hair, I make sure it is as straight as it can get. For this step, I'm going to continue to section my hair and blow it out. So continue to do the same thing on my right side. I'm telling you, blow drying your hair is key to silky hair. Key to silky hair, blow dry it. It's an extra few minutes, but I'm telling you it was worth it if you really want your hair to be like silky, silky, silky. Look at this. When I'm finished, I'll come back. Well, I finished blow drying my hair and that is how it looks. Just don't worry about my flyaways. Make sure that your fly iron is plugged in and your hot comb. Make sure both of those things are plugged in and on high heat. I'm gonna show you which fly iron I have and which hot comb I have. It is like this one hot comb with one temperature. Don't get that. So when I flatten my hair, I like to do small, small, small sections. You are gonna, you know, have your little section out. Let me grab the hot comb. I'm sorry, I have to be like all in your face, but when you use a hot comb, make sure you aren't com just combing it, okay? Make sure you are not just combing it. Make sure you use the back plate. So now that I've hot combed this piece, I am going to flat iron it. This is the flat iron I use. Flat iron and the hot comb are both by Golden Hot. Make sure you're using the chase method.
so I am finally finished with this side and it only took me about not too long really when I come back the other side will be done I finished doing my hair well my wig and I decided like why not just do the cap method for me before I put my cap on I made sure that my edges were brushed back with my edge brush edge booster make sure your edges are brushed back before you put your cap on because you don't want to lose your edges then you're gonna take your spray You just cut like a little like one snip is big enough go like that and do it to each side Don't be like me and use fabric scissors. Use a small pair of scissors if you have it. So now I'm going to use my boho lace glue and I'm going to be using the back of this. The glue has dried. I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn, and I'm going to take my powder brush from e.l.f., which I use as my foundation brush because it's so good. So I'm gonna take a little bit. So right here I'm just pressing in my lace with my comb because you don't want to use your hands for this because you will mess your lace up. Right here I'm just making sure all my Meek Mills are tucked in. After your wig is installed, you need to take your hot comb and press down on your front tool. So as you can see, I finished gluing down my wig. I tried to find my mousse and all of a sudden now that I need it, it's not here. So since I don't have my mousse, and I'm going to put a picture of the mousse that I use, it's so good. I think it's spelled like N-A-A, 
something but i'm gonna put it like over here or over here wherever but that's the most i use it's the best mousse ever so since i don't have that what i'm gonna use is i'm gonna use my edge my edge booster and i am going to like pat it on i rubbed some of my hands already and i'm gonna pat it on i don't want my hair to look greasy or anything so i just need to pat the flyaways down So I had to do. I had to help. I had to. Um, wash. You had you 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 could you do you you want you. So I had to wash my brother up. He was in a bag, in a tub or whatever. So you know, I put the um edge booster on, and it took care of some flyaways, but I still need mousse. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my mom's mousse. That should, that should help a lot. I never used this mousse before. Is this mousse? It was five dollars, alcohol free. Okay. So let's see. Let's see how this works. I never used this before. I never used this before. I'm kind of scared. This might be better than the mousse I have or that I use. Okay, mommy. Okay, mommy. I see you. She not getting this back. Yo, this is better than that blue. Yo, matter of fact, cut the video. Not cut the video, but y'all know what I mean. Yo, get this mousse instead. I'm not going to try to pronounce his name. It's V-I-G-O-R-O-L for relaxed hair. Now let me see, I put the mousse on, right? Wait, yo, and it feels way better. Like it's not stiff or nothing. Yeah, I'm shook. I don't know how much the one that I um use costs, cause when I go to beauty spa store, I just be buying stuff and I don't look at the prices, which isn't good. Nah, yo, mo, <laughs> yo, what? Get that mousse, y'all. Get that mousse. This is mad because she's not getting this back. She's bugging. She's really bugging. If she really thinks she's going to get this back. And it came out so nice. This is the best my hair has ever came out. Like, word two. I'm not even lying. Period. So, make sure y'all comment down below some more videos y'all want me to do. Should it be hair videos or hair reviews? Um, I can do that. Hope y'all enjoyed it.